from landscapes to seascapes to animals, an artist whose wildlife art radiates her appreciation for the natural world. We'd like to welcome nationally acclaimed artist Kathleen Dunphy, who is this year's featured artist at the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition. Kathleen, congratulations and welcome to the Low Country. Thank you so much, Taylor. It's an honor to be here. So this is a beautiful yeah. painting. Tell me about this. Well, these are cows that um, graze in an area where I live in Northern California. We live in the foothills of the Sierra. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the great traditions of that area is that the cows, in the summertime, they go up to the high country, up in the mountains, and they turn them loose with bells on them and they send them out to graze. And then in the fall, they bring them back in and they gather them up and bring them back down to their pastures to stay in the winter time. It's mm -hmm. because in the, in the winter there's more grass down in our area and then in the summers it dries out. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the cows that are up in the high country in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an area, it's a place that I just love to go to to paint both landscapes and animals. Oh, wow. And so it's a, it's a place that's very dear to my heart. So you go there and, and you set it up and you actually paint while being physically there. Yeah, I'll do um, landscape paintings while I'm there. Uh -huh. um, plan air painting is what they yeah, call that. Okay. Um, and then I'll take photographs and do sketches of the animals that are there. Mm -hmm. The animals don't really stand still too long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's hard to do a completed painting um, mm -hmm. when, when they an, on location with the animals. Yeah. So I do those back in the studio. Mm -hmm. And now have you always been, you know, uh, interested in fine art? You know, I was—I should have been. Let's put it that way. I was one of those kids with the crayons on the sidewalk, and yeah. you know, always, always doing something with art. But um, I never really did it as a profession until I was in my mid-thirties. Um, really? I had been a, a floral designer and special events planner before that, mm -hmm. and then um, finally took the leap. Um, we were actually living in Alaska at the time, and took the leap at that point to get into fine art and. Finally, feel like I'm in my own skin now that I'm doing that. Yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> and now, so you know, you owned a floral business, you traveled the world. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like those things intersected to to help you on on this journey? I think when I finally got a chance to do art, I was just so hungry for it. Mm. I, I really wanted to do it. Um, I didn't want to waste any time. Mm. I think maybe if I had started when I was right out of high school, I probably wouldn't have had the stick to itiveness to sort of struggle through the ups and downs of being an artist and, yeah. and uh, how hard it is to get a career established. Mm -hmm. um, but once I was in my 30s, boy, there was nothing that was going to stop me. Yeah. Um, so it, was, it just made me really very determined. And I think you bring your whole life experience to your art. Mm -hmm. So I don't regret the times when I wasn't painting because I know that that influenced the times that I have painted. Yeah. And now you paint, you know, kind of all things wildlife. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite medium? Um, usually oil. Um, this is an oil painting. Okay. Um, I also um, do charcoal drawings mm -hmm. um, and I do gouache, which is an opaque watercolor. But oil is really my, my first love. Mm -hmm. And now, so I want to hear about the featured piece, mm -hmm. the seaweed featured piece. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about it? I would love to tell you about that. So it's called Family Outing. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lake near where we live called White Pines Lake. Mm -hmm. And it's one of my favorite places to go to hike and paint and walk my dogs. and. Um, I always, always have my camera in the car, a good camera, and a sketchbook in the car because I never know when I'm going to happen upon something that needs to be painted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was up there walking my dogs one day and I saw this whole bunch of geese that were there but they all had babies. And um, so I put the dogs in the car so they wouldn't bother the, the uh, birds and then I got my good camera out and my sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And I got down real low on the ground and just took as many photos as I could and did sketches for a long time. Yeah. Um, and I just, I love Canada geese because they're so prevalent in our area. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like almost every day I walk outside and they're flying overhead as I go out in the morning and then they're yeah. coming back in the evening. And yeah. just the sound of them is, it's, I don't know, I guess kind of a romantic sound to hear yeah. geese flying over. Oh yeah, and, and family outing. I mean, I think that, you know, that, probably speaks a lot to, you know, where you live, where you come from. Right. And yeah. and also, you know, having a family and yeah, all those yeah. wonderful and, things. You know, I feel like animals sometimes we don't give them enough credit. You know, I feel like they have these really complex lives. And I think a family unit for most animals is really important. Yeah. And so to try to convey that on canvas is very important to me. Yeah. And now what does it mean to you to be the two thousand twenty four Seaweed featured artist? I need a new set of superlatives to describe <laughs> how I feel. Uh, you know, I, I can't just say it's the best or the biggest or the, you know, the most um, because I've already used those words a thousand times. Yeah. Um, but I just have to say it's a huge honor. Mm -hmm. um, Siwi is an amazing event both for the art but then for everything else. Um, the conservation aspect is just really dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, and to be involved in that and to be involved 
you know, in any aspect is yeah. great, but then to be the featured artist is just, I don't know, I need, I need better words, like I said, to mm. try to describe it, but it, it, it's a tremendous honor and something that mm. will always be something I, I remember for the rest of my life. Yeah. Well, it is very well deserved. Well, thank you. And um, <laughs> what's next for you? You know, it, it, getting ready for this show was so exciting because, you know, sometimes when you get ready to do a show, you paint, you paint, you paint, and then you kind of get a little bit tired and you just want to take a break. Mm -hmm. um, but kind of conversely with the CB event, the more I painted, the more I wanted to paint. Huh. And I have so many ideas that are just still kind of rattling around in my head that I want to get out on canvas. Mm -hmm. So it's an exciting time. I feel like there's, you know, it's, it, there's times in a, in a creative career where you hit ebbs and, and flows and highs and lows, and I feel like this is, this is a time when, when things are really starting to flow, yeah. and I want to continue with that as much as I can. That's wonderful. And now um, we can see you this weekend on the second floor of the Charleston Place. That's correct. Uh -huh. And where can our viewers keep up with you? Um, they can see my work on my website, okay. which is KathleenDunphy.com. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on social media, Kathleen Dunphy Fine Art. And I have a few galleries throughout the United States, mm -hmm. um, both in Maine, and in um, Bar Harbor, Maine, and in um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and then at Helena Fox Fine Art here in Charleston. Perfect. Well, Kathleen, congratulations again, and thank, thank you so much for joining us. And, and we are looking forward to seeing you this weekend. Thank you so much. It's yeah. a pleasure. We're back in two minutes.